Thank you for joining us tonight. Thousands of Mississippians fall into what's called the coverage gap. They make too much to be eligible for Medicaid, but not enough to afford private insurance. That's why you hear Medicaid expansion brought up by the state leaders each year. Courtney Ann Jackson explains how a new report from the state economist is examining the potential impacts of expansion. Position has not changed. I am opposed to expanding Medicaid in Mississippi. I know about it. We cannot afford it. But this latest report from the state economist states that the cost savings would allow the state to expand Medicaid with little to no additional cost for at least the first decade of expansion. It takes this whole narrative that it costs too much and we can't afford it. It totally debunks that. The report estimates expansion could lead to more than 11,000 jobs a year on average from 2022 to 2027. The Mississippi Hospital Association has been asking policymakers to consider these elements for several years. It makes sense from a human standpoint, but it absolutely makes sense from a financial standpoint. So if you're not moved on, on the basis of human reasons, you ought to be moved on the basis of financial reasons, and it's really fiscally irresponsible at this point to not do this for the state of Mississippi. The report estimates health insurance coverage could be extended to more than 200,000 additional Mississippians. House Minority Leader Robert Johnson says he started hearing some Republican colleagues open to expansion conversations last session, but doesn't know how much the report will make a difference. You know, if it suits somebody's political agenda, yeah, it moves the needle. But if it, go, if it you know, I haven't seen one that, that's contrary to, like I said, this information, I mean, if you go back and look at the, the, the report from the research center in 2012, it's essentially the same, they, they make the same arguments in that report and they ignored it then. Courtney Ann Jackson, WCBI News. The report suggests expansion could also bring more people into the Magnolia State to the tune of 3,300 to 11,500 new residents a year.